Good reading habits. We're here to talk about the first part, which is before you even start to read, I want to set goals for reading. I've been asked to read the effects of water pollution for class, so my goal is, well, I'm going to figure out the best information from this article so that I can answer my questions, prepare for tests, and it's because it's a requirement for my class. That's my goal for reading this. Having a goal helps you determine how you need to read something. So if I'm just reading it for pleasure, then I can take my time. I don't really have to worry about retaining most of the information. If I'm reading it for an assignment, then that definitely changes things. The next thing I want to do is activate my schema. And schema is basically a fancy word for prior knowledge. So if I'm looking at the title, Effects of Water Pollution, what prior knowledge do I have about water pollution? And I'm thinking, well, I can look around me and see leftover bottles near the river. I can see water that has a lot of green to it. I can see uh, little mosquito larvae and stuff in water. So that's some of my prior knowledge that I have. The next thing I want to do is preview. So this is looking at the headings, the pictures, review questions, getting the length of the document. That's going to tell me how much time I need to spend reading this. If it's a 20 page document that I need to read, then I can't wait an hour before class and read this. So I'm looking at this, Effects of Water Pollution. It's by Jessica Harwood, Douglas Wilkham, PhD. I don't know those two authors, so I can't correlate any background information about are they credible or not. So I'm always wanting to keep that in mind. What do I know about the authors? What do I know about the information? Uh, this was created by CK12 Flexbook. It's an open education resource. So I want to say a thanks to the authors for making it free for us. Okay, no, nothing important here that I need to look at. All right, chapter one, effects of water pollution. So I'm looking at that picture. Yep, I've seen that before. Uh, my horse water trough looks like that. These are some of the outcomes. Describe the effects of water pollution on the environment. Define eutrophication, well, that's a big word. All right, summarize the effects of an algal bloom. Explain ocean, okay, summarize. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna learn. All right, scrolling down here. One page, two pages, another picture, three pages. Oh, okay, so it's not that long. And there's some media, some review questions. So I need to figure out what eutrophication is, and I can explain that, some causes of it, causes of the acidification of the ocean, and then what are some waterborne diseases and what causes them. All right, so about four pages. I think I can read this in one setting. I have been done with my before I read good reading habits.